Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this gorgeous spring morning in paradise. That is Friday, March 5th, 2021. Being Friday, I need to get over there to mongabay.com for my weekly ecological meltdown around our rent. <coughs> But before I do, guys, I guess I just need to come in with a little amplification and clarification uh, on that, on, on my chronicle of the collapse yesterday about that copium article from the Telegraph about genetically modifying humans to bring down the population of the most invasive species on the planet. You combine every invasive species on the planet other than humans, combine them. They do not do half the damage of humans. And of course, humans are the reason for all the other invasive species. So anyway, guys, uh, maybe I'm forgetting what channel I'm on. Once again, I, I, I guess I just made the obvious uh, oversight in overestimating people's ability to understand irony. That article uh, in, in there about bringing down invasive species uh, by genetically modifying them uh, and putting an infertility gene in this gene drive, this CRISPR gene drive technology uh, obviously guys that <laughs> that article was not about humans it was an article about squirrelies squirrelies yes it was an article about using this technology uh, to bring down the number of squirrels in this case gray squirrels, you know, which are American squirrels, which uh, thanks to humans have gotten over there to the forest of England and since uh, gray squirrels uh, have no natural control mechanism uh, since they're invasive over there, they're, you know, completely taking over the forest and endangering the native squirrels. And so the article was about genetically modifying uh, American gray squirrels to uh, eradicate that invasive species. But what they were implying there is that this technology, this emerging technology, which they're using on mosquitoes now, you might have heard they're getting ready to release 750 million genetically modified mosquitoes down here in the Florida Keys in a couple of weeks. This is the example, but what they're saying is they're working on the technology and they have it to introduce into mammals, into vertebrates. Uh, there, there is absolutely no reason, no technical reason that we could not bring this technology uh, and, and, and introduce it into humans. And that was the, the point I was trying to make using irony. I just read the article and every time they said squirrel, I said human. And, uh, and, and, and that uh, this is the reason why I am in 100% support of genetically modifying humans to pass on an infer infertility gene uh, to bring down the population of the most invasive species on this planet and, and soon to be in this solar system. Uh, anything we can do anything we can do at this point to bring down the number of invasive species and if it takes CRISPR gene drive 
bring it on. But of course, uh, it will never happen. You know, they were talking about in that article uh, that, that it, it, it's going to be years before they even uh, suggest bringing this technology to squirrels. Uh, that the public backlash uh, against this, if they suggest doing this, the, 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 the public backlash uh, is, it, it, that's the, what's standing in the way uh, of this. Uh, but anyway, never let it be said that Sam Mitchell is not a techno-utopian, although I understand it, it's not even going to happen for squirrels, much less for the real squirrel on this planet. We need to get more little squirrely dogs. Where's that squirrely? Is there squirrely out there like that? There's plenty of squirrelies in England. Do you want to move to England? You could get squirrelies all day long. You could get, you could get a squirrely. All over England, there's little squirrelies. Anyway, I just had to <laughs> to clear up that. I, I, I mean, not one person, I guess, it, it looks like in the comments, I, I, I guess not one person, uh, not even Book Hermit, uh, uh, understood I was making a futile attempt, apparently, to be ironic. And I'll try not to make that mistake again. So anyway, uh, now that I've explain that <clears throat> we need to uh, get over there to mongabay.com for this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant coming right up bye guys look out the dog <laughs>